new bow launch day from Hoyt for 2024, the Carbon RX-8. Check out the new color. That is the first thing that I caught my eye was the new smoke gray or matte gray, whatever they're calling it, um, color on the Carbon RX-8. They'll have them for the aluminum bows as well, I believe. Awesome color here, this matte gray look. I think that's very clean. Diving right on into it, this is the Carbon RX-8. They do make an RX-8 Ultra, which we will review at a later time. But today, shorter axle to axle, Carbon RX-8. Let's dive right into it, give you the overall specs, and then just break down the bow and give you some first impressions. So the RX-8, it's gonna be four pounds even. A very, very light carbon. Again, that's Hoyt, king of carbon. They know exactly how to make a carbon bow. They've been doing it for a long time. This bow measures out at 30 and 9 16 axle to axle, six and one eighth inch brace height. Um, it IBOs at 342, so still a very, very fast moving bow. And a 25 to 30 inch draw length adjustment on the regular RX-8. I'm sure the Ultra will be a little bit longer for longer draw length guys, but for the RX-8, 25 to 30. Same can that's on the aluminum Alpha X. It's gonna be the HBX exact cam. And again, this cam can make quarter inch adjustments as far as draw length. So if your 28 and a half feels a little bit short and 29 feels too long, they now make a quarter inch adjustment to uh, get that to 28 and three quarters. That way it might can feel perfect for you right in the middle there. Again, three let off changes, 75, 80, and 85% let offs. All that can be done on this single mod here on this rotating module. And then two back wall settings as well. Fully adjustable cam. First look at this bow, it looks very, very similar to the RX-7 riser. Um, very, very similar except the new color, of course. Still have the integrated Picatinny mount system as far as getting that side integrated and moving that in. With the rest mount, you can still run like a QAD integrate there or run your your, HB, uh, your Hamsky Epsilon here. Very, very streamlined look again. Still using the same quiver system. Coming down here, the new go sticks for the new Hoyts. You can move these into different positions, that way you can set them down on the right angle, however you like it. But new on the cam is just gonna be this rubber protector that's on the outside of the cam here. This little circular shape on the top and on the bottom, um, which allows you to put these go sticks down and then set this cam down, that way that cam's no longer in the dirt. Adjustable go sticks to get that position right, you can fold them, lock them away. And now this little rubber part on the outside of the cam here allows me to set this cam down it's protected, no cam in the dirt, no scratches on the cam, nothing like that. Now looking on the RX-8 here on the new um, exact cam, um, it is a rotating module, um, just like all the other Hoyt bows. But if you see here, you got a lowercase letter, an uppercase letter, then lowercase and uppercase. That's actually gonna be your quarter inch adjustment um, as far as getting that rotating over to the exact quarter inch that you need it to be. Um, so good system there. You can see exactly what you're on. If you need to make that quarter inch adjustment, you'll just move it to the lowercase letter easy enough. So really good idea. Let's uh, get the weight on this, run you a couple speeds and see what you think. Let's just make sure we're at 70 here. It's gonna be 29 inches on the draw length, 455 grain arrow. So kind of a good mid range arrow weight there. And let's see if we're pulling 70 or close to it. That back wall's just as solid, 69.9. We can round that up to 70. 29 inch draw length, 455 grain arrow. 69.9, hashtag 70 pounds. Just first impressions, let's go. 281 and a half. Um, very close to the same speed that we're getting on the Alpha X as well, with the same exact draw link weight, arrow build. Shoot one more. The first, I'd say inch or two of this one is just a touch. I mean, kind of have to give it a little bit and then it breaks over into that smooth um, patented Hoyt draw cycle. Um, very, very solid back wall that's on the Alpha X. Cannot say enough good things about that back wall. You just lock into that thing um, and not want to move. Also, you can adjust it. If you don't like that solid lock, you kind of want to pull into it a little bit more. You can adjust the let off, adjust the back wall, everything. 282, yep. So same exact speeds. Um, the shot feels really, really good. Very, very little vibration, pretty much nothing. I can't really feel it, even if I'm gripping it pretty hard. So if it's there, it dissipates really, really fast. You more or less feel the string shop hitting the uh, hitting the bow here um, and just absorbing that, but very, very little to no vibration in this carbon. Um, the draw cycle is similar to the RX-7, except with the new cam, a lot of adjustments, which is awesome. Um, sound sounds very similar, uh, maybe just a touch quieter. Um, I'm not hearing anything that's like, out there, it's hard to tell, and it could just be the paper that we have on it too, it could be making some of the noise. So still a very, very quiet carbon bow. Um, if you guys are into the lighter weight carbons, this RX-8 is gonna be a perfect fit, especially with that adjustment cam system. Um, Hoyt's always killed it with the carbons, especially with the RX-7 and now moving to RX-8. I think they've made great adjustments on the eight, which has allowed us to um, fit this bow 
more for the hunter and the shooter rather than guessing half inch or a full. We can actually make those quarter inch adjustments, which is huge. Solid, solid carbon bow. We will have the review on the Ultra coming up at a later date, but right now we wanted to view the, uh, the shorter axle to axle for the RX-8 itself. Awesome carbon bow. The two bows, the Alpha X and the RX-8, are very, very similar, um, I would say, except the carbon. Obviously, you're gonna pay for a four-pound bow. Be a little bit more with that carbon design. It's gonna be warmer in colder temperatures because carbon can hold on to that warmth better than aluminum can. Very, very lightweight carbon bow. Um, Hoyt knocked it out of the part again with the carbon, but I think their biggest adjustment is the HBX Exact Cam. Solid, solid, solid back wall, guys, and a sick new color. You guys need to go to your local shop or come see us. You guys need to check out these new bows. Um, very, very great design Hoyt made here. They knocked it out of the park again. The king of carbon. Get your hands on these bows, shoot them for yourself. Let us know what you think. Um, we'll have more bow reviews in the future. Keep watching, and thanks for watching. Me.